Welcome to the Paragon Hub Navbar tutorial where I'll walk through how to sign up and set up your Hub Navbar so that you may have multiple navigation options in your HubSpot. First is the sign up portion. So when you come to this page, this is also the login um, as it were as well. So you'll put in uh, first name, last name, and email. You'll only uh, need in the future when you sign back in your email. Uh, each time it will send you a link um, that will last for the day and keep you logged in. So we'll go ahead and click Submit. After you click Submit, it will let you know that um, it's sending an email to you. Um, it takes about a minute um, at the most, maybe two, um, before it shows them into your inbox. So we'll jump over to the email and show you that. You'll now see an email in your inbox from Paragon LLC. If you click into that email, you will then find your link to access the portal. You'll then click on this link to get into the portal, and it will open up the portal page for you. You have three options in the portal. The first option when you're first setting this up is to look at the apps catalog. As you enter into the apps catalog, you'll see that we have the hub nav extension. You'll then purchase keys. Which will then take you to the Stripe payment page. You'll then enter in your Stripe information. I'm already subscribed on this one. You'll hit subscribe. You have options for monthly or annual billing. Then you'll click uh, confirm or subscribe. It will then take you back to this page where you can then access your keys that you've purchased. When you access your keys, You'll have, you can, depending on how many you purchase, there's a quantity. Once you've accessed a key, you'll need to assign that key. That key comes from the extension, and we'll show you how to access that. The extension sits on the Chrome Web Store. So first off, make sure that you have Chrome, because that's the only place where the nav bar works. You go to the Chrome Store, type in Paragon, you'll see our application for it. Click into it and then you'll click the add button to add it to Chrome. It'll then get added into the upper right hand corner. And you may have to click on the extensions button and pin it so you can see the hub nav bar. Once you have it set up, you can go ahead and unpin it and hide it. So once you've signed up, you'll then be able to come back and you'll see your key and your key list. You'll then need to highlight the key, copy it, Go up to the navbar extension, enter in that key, and put a name associated with it. Hit activate now. It'll show that it's successfully activated. And now if we refresh this page, we'll see that Perry Paragon is now licensed to this key. If you hit refresh as we did before, it will clear it out. When you go back up into the navbar, you'll see that you can add in a navigation task text. You can also add in whether or not it has a drop down. If you leave it as is, you'll be able to click on it. You'll need to put in the navbar link. So it's the link of the page that you're working on. So in our case, going over to our HubSpot, we'll see that we have task here. And if I look at the page, task will be its own box, which is the same as it is up here. If I add another one, I can just put in a name and that name will now become a navigation piece when I refresh again, but it has no link to it, so it actually goes nowhere. It'll stay on the page until I add in a link for the page that I want to go to and the portal ID. If you don't know your HubSpot portal ID, it can be found by hitting the drop down over in the upper right, and this is your portal ID that you can grab. And then you can add that, which will add it to your Chrome specifically. This is per individual user. So every user gets to decide what's going to be in their navigation bar. But now you can choose any item within HubSpot, grab the URL link for it, add it into your navbar link, create text for it, add your HubSpot ID, which is already listed here. So we can add this one again. I can then come over here and go to contacts, highlight this portion of the URL in the upper upper portion. Add that into here now into the nav bar link. It saves it automatically and now my test will take me to contacts and my task will take me to task. 
This is a quick way to access custom objects and or other areas of HubSpot such as deals, maybe playbooks, payments, any of your marketing items. You can usually fit up to five navbar items here, but you can nest additional navigation underneath it. So if you have just custom objects that you've created, you create a navbar just for custom objects and add those as a drop down underneath it with another title and name and association. We hope that you enjoy this tutorial and that you enjoy this hub navbar and uh, please share with your friends. We look forward to sharing more apps with you in the future.